Welcome back to Master Academy of Mathematics. So today we discuss about the, the topic series. Fourth unit, vector differentiation. Basically, when you enter into the vector differentiation, we need to think about vector differential operator first. This vector differential operator divided into three cases. One is gradient, the next one divergent, the third one it is curl. So it is divided into three different cases. And after that, one more is nothing but it is few relations. So you are just going to have certain types of relations between gradient, divergent and the curl. These are the only four important topics which are covered in the fourth unit. And when you think about this gradient, you are having the different types of problems in the gradient. Gradient, the first important thing is nothing but in the gradient, you are going to calculate one directional derivative. The, it's the most important in the case of gradient, directional derivative. And this directional derivative that can be calculated based on your given data. And one more is, even by using the gradient, you are going to calculate angle between angle between normals that is also you can expect one more bit in your gradient the next one is nothing but it is unit vector or you can say that unit normal vector these are the three important aspects you, you which you can expect in your gradient and coming to divergent remember gradient is defined only for the scalar point function a vector differential operator associated with scalar point function, you simply call it as gradient. Whereas if you think about a divergent, it is applicable for vector point function. And in this divergent, you can expect one bit is nothing but which is, it is solenoid. This is an important bit in your divergent. Coming to curl, this is associated with a continuous differentiable vector point function. Gradient and divergent both are using the dot product whereas curl is using it is the cross product definition. So based on this particular curl we are having one important bit is nothing but it is irrotational. Irrotational this is one important aspect in your curl. And the last one is some relations between gradient divergent and curl. And during that examination point of view, you are expecting from 4th and 5th units only one problem each. So one problem again it is divided into A and B bit. So in the gradient definitely you are expecting one problem, one problem with A bit. Only from the gradient you are expecting one bit guarantee in the final semester examination. And from the remaining divergent curl and some relations this you are expecting another bit b bit so this is the way that i am expecting in the semester examination paper only from the gradient part you are expecting one bit and remaining from the three different topics you are expecting another b bit when you think about the relations remember better you focus on that uh, positional vector, generally positional vector is denoted by R bar, which is nothing but Xi plus Yj plus Zk. And using this positional vector, you are going to have certain relations that you focus on this. Definitely from these three, you can expect one bit. And even in the curl, when do we say that it is a rotational? And in the case of divergent, solenoidal, Divergent solenoidal, solenoidal means when you apply that uh, vector differential operator to the vector point function, definitely if it is equal to zero, we call it as solenoidal. And uh, this is del cross f, you call it as equal to zero, we call it as irrotational. In the case of irrotational, you can expect one scalar potential also. That is also one important bit in your curl definition. When it is irrotational, there exists a function phi such that it is going to satisfy one property, we call it as scalar potential property. So among this fourth unit, one bit from gradient remaining from all the three bits you are expecting, 
another bit in the examination point of view. So this is about a brief idea about fourth unit. Let us think about fifth unit in the next video session. Have a good day.